What's up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, it's been a hot minute. Uh, I have been taking some time off from the channel, but you know, y'all are relatively used to that at this point. I basically upload to this channel so sporadically where I'll like do it really consistently for quite some time and then I'll just take literal months off as a break. So you know how it is, but um, Today, I wanted to come back because I, there's a reason I've been taking time off, and it's two things. The first one is that I've just been kind of burnt out and haven't really felt the uh, desire to upload to this channel. You know, these videos are relatively easy to make, but at the same time, I don't want to just talk about anything. Like, I want to have ideas and, and talk about stuff that I think is interesting. And so there is a level of, like, that to it. Um, but at the same time, the other reason is I've had a knife that I really wanted to talk about, but I just haven't been able to like fully get my thoughts out about it yet. And finally, I think I might be ready to at least give you guys a introductory talk about it on this channel. And then uh, eventually we are working on the review for the main channel. I'm actually currently in the middle of writing the review and then we'll be shooting it and editing it. So hopefully it won't take too long to come out, but there will be a full review on the main channel. But for now, I wanted to show you this. This is honestly probably my new favorite Bala song. Um, and I have a lot of wonderful Bala songs, but this is it. This is the Hybel Invictus. Uh, this is from Hybel Knives. He is a fantastic Bala song maker who's been in the space for quite some time at this point and honestly is really underappreciated. Hybel has been making awesome stuff um, with a focus on like custom stuff, you know, but even then his custom Bala songs are also very nice. Uh, well, obviously they're very nice. What I mean is that they're nice to flip as well, usually. Um, he's had off and on in terms of like making ballast songs that are really good flippers versus making ballast songs that are pretty. Uh, two years ago, I believe, uh, the Sapient was at Blade Show and the Sapient was actually a incredibly good flipper. It was just a little weird aesthetically. For me, it just didn't hit exactly the notes that I would like in a ballast song, aesthetically speaking. Um, but it was a very, very competent flipper. The next year, I forget what the name of the ballast song was, but it was much more aesthetically pleasing, but it was a little, like, it had a little to be desired in terms of flipping. Like, it was still good. Um, it wasn't bad flipping by any means, but it was definitely, like, it was better aesthetically, but slightly worse flipping-wise. Well, this year... Hybel released something called the Invictus. This is the Invictus. And here's the truth, guys. I didn't plan on buying anything at Blade Show uh, this year. I just didn't have the money for it. And so I really went in planning not to buy anything. And I almost got out scot-free, except uh, then I flipped the Invictus. And here's the thing. Hybel nailed it with this Bala song. 100% absolutely freaking nailed it. And I'll tell you why. Um, so there's a number of things about this that are just insane. First of all is the price. Uh, this is $550, which sounds like a lot until you realize that stuff like this is $850 and stuff like this is also in the $750, $800 range. So these two Bala songs, while incredible, this isn't any lesser than these two, and yet it is only $550. Uh, that's insane. Uh, this thing is full titanium channel handles that are beautifully milled, and then an RWL 34 blade, which is a pretty nice blade uh, for Bala songs. And it's a uh, blade steel that's normally used more by like custom knife makers, which makes sense um, that Adam would be using it here. And uh, the other thing that blows my mind is that look at this color, right? So this is blackened handles that he then used, I think, a laser engraver to get these like insane lightning strike patterns on it. And then it's been heat anodized. Uh, I think it even got, I think it might have been heat anodized by the laser itself. So it's like gold, but it changes to blue in different spots. It's really cool. Uh, and then finally, the blade itself is done up in this beautiful faux 
uh, it's kind of like a tiger pattern. I don't know. I think it looks incredible. And the tiger pattern itself is golden. It might be kind of hard to see that on camera. I don't know how well this will come through. But yeah, the tiger pattern itself is literally golden, which is just freaking insane. So yeah, the finish on this ballast song is incredible. And here's the thing. He had regular Invictuses and he had Invictuses like this one, which had all of the bells and whistles and all the really cool uh, stuff on it. All of the Invictus were the same price. He didn't charge more for these incredible finishes, even though he very well could have. Like, these take time and effort to do. These are not easy finishes. He says, oh yeah, it's just a bit of an extra process, so I don't charge for it. But like, the truth is, maybe it is a bit of an extra process, but it is an extra process. And like, something like this is just nuts. So that's fun. Uh, really, really, really awesome that he would charge the same price across all of them. The other thing that I'm really impressed with is that this thing is held up super well. Like you can see, I was actually kind of afraid because I, I, as soon as I saw this, I needed it. <laughs> um, it's number 185, by the way. But uh, I was afraid because with blackened ballast songs, they tend to be a little fragile, the coating on them. Um, I've dropped this onto concrete multiple times and you can see it only has a couple scuffs on the bottom from that. And I've like dropped it directly onto hard concrete, like not a, not a soft drop. It didn't dent the titanium at all. The titanium's still completely perfect. And it's just got a few scratches on there. The other thing is that my ring on this hand eats up um, black and balisongs. And funnily enough, even though you can see all the micro scratches that my ring has put onto it, Honestly, I don't mind it at all. And it might be because of the lightning pattern, but underneath it, usually when you scratch black and titanium, it's silver underneath, which is very distracting. But here, somehow, the heat anodization is also under the blackening, which means that when my ring scratches it, it leaves gold scratches that just kind of add to the texture of the balisson. Um, it's really interesting and it kind of reminds me of the way like leather ages, right? So if you have a leather wallet, you'll know leather gets prettier with time because as it gets all the scratches and stuff, it actually looks better. And so that's kind of the effect that I'm gathering here from this balisson. But let's not just talk about that. Let's also talk about the fact that it flips so well. So the moment I picked it up at Blade Show, I knew obviously that I was dealing with something special. Like I like started flipping one of the tester units and I was like, okay, this is really sick. Like you did, you, you nailed it with this thing. This is, you did an incredible job. But I didn't even fully understand to myself how much he nailed it. You see, I haven't stopped flipping this thing. <laughs> I have been flipping it basically continuously from the day I bought it. I flipped it that entire day and then I flipped it the whole next day and then I just didn't stop. And it's been like almost a month now. Like I've just been flipping this thing continuously since Blade Show and I haven't been able to stop. And I don't know why, it's just really good. And for $550, that is really high praise. I flip it over my, uh, Tsunami and my Seraph now. And I love my Tsunami and my Seraph. I still deeply love these ballast songs. Ooh, I just cut myself with it, whoopsie. Um, I deeply love these ballast songs, but like, even then, I the Invictus has just been so good that I just haven't stopped. We'll do a little first aid live for y'all here. The Invictus is also a sharp boy. The missile is EP. The Invictus is EP. There we go. Um, by the way, these are the uh, these are another good bandage. I, for some reason, I don't have any of my hydrocolloids, but um, for like bigger cuts, uh, these are these are just plain ones from Walgreens. But um, they're the uh, like skin flex type of band aids, so you can get them in Band-Aid brand, you can get them in Walgreens brand. There's all sorts of different brands, but they're, they're called Skin Flex and they usually have this cross pattern. Uh, they're much more flexible than regular Band-Aids and they feel much closer to how your skin feels, which is really nice for people that flip because the worst thing about Band-Aids is that they're way grippier um, than like, look at that. I can still chap one with it just fine. So. Uh, they're, they're way grippier than your actual skin, which fucks up your flipping when your hand is now covered in band-aids. So uh, yeah, I highly suggest the Skin Flex 
style band-aids. Anywho, um, yeah, I've just been basically flipping this thing continuously and loving it. Like, I, I really, really enjoy it. It's really, really good. And here's the other thing, okay? People know that I have a bit of a beef with this thing. This is my old, uh, oh, you poor thing. Um, this is my old JK Design Monarch number 69. And unfortunately for it, uh, it has seen much better days. Uh, if you followed my channel before, you'll know that essentially after I bought this thing, a few months passed by and then uh, the handles started to slap together. The handle, uh, people told me that this would happen beforehand and I didn't believe them. And then over enough time, uh, it sure did in fact happen. And yeah, I'm just I'm just sad about this thing, if I'm being honest. Um, but here's the crazy part, right? This is doing for me, for the first time since I bought this, this is doing for me what this initially did. Um, this Balasong feels like how this one should have if it was going to last longer. And what I mean by that is, like, I did, uh, Julian did switch the blade out on this temporarily at one point. Um, and it did fix it for a moment, and then it started slapping again. Uh, so it only fixed it for a little bit, but he changed it to bushings. And when it was changed to bushings, which, first of all, when it was changed to bushings, he also just gave me a random number of blade instead of number 69. And, like, the fact that this was number 69 is half the reason I bought it, let's be honest. That's hilarious. Um, so that was a little disappointing. But this Balasong on bearings is better than it is on bushings. When I got the bushings version, all of the magic that I loved about this thing was just gone. Because on bearings, somehow, this thing is really snappy and really responsive. But as soon as you put it on bushings, it becomes slow. And I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's not heavy, it's just slow. And like, I didn't like that. And so I was very disappointed. Oh, you sound so good, my darling. Um, I was very disappointed by this thing on uh bushings and so I, I wanted it back on bearings we tried fixing the slap issue with a few different things like right now you can actually see there's a metal shim inside of here that's just basically doing nothing uh, the other metal shim that was inside of here is gone the only thing that could fix this is a new blade and even potentially a new set of handles where you like mill the blade so that uh there's like more space here and it doesn't contact anymore or, or you like literally physically put a little uh tang in between these two things like you could add a little bump that sticks out so that there's a tang but that's the only way that you can fix it is literally by making a wholly new blade and as far as i'm aware julian's not going to do that for me um so oh well now it's just sad um however here's the biggest deal right this feels like this but it's on bushings. Like, this is as responsive as my Monarch originally was. Um, and it is, like, really fast, really responsive. It feels nice and light. I think it's longer overall. Yeah, it is. It is longer. I mean, the blade is substantially longer. But it is, in general, just longer overall. And um, it's just really snappy, really responsive. And it's on bushings. And... Guess what? It's on tang pins. There's actual built-in tang pins into the blade, which means this is never going to have slap because that is physically impossible, which I love. This is going to last a very long time. Tang pins are basically the best method for guaranteeing that there is no uh, blade handle slap at any point. Um, they're basically the strongest method of doing that. Here's the other thing, too. You don't have to sacrifice the aesthetics. Like... When open and when closed, the difference in aesthetics is this little triangular piece that sticks out, but it really isn't that big of a difference. There's nothing on the sides. It looks really nice. You know, there's not horns on this knife, which I do like a knife with horns, um, for instance. You can see very nice, pretty horns. You know, uh, horns look nice, but I really like that this one doesn't have horns. And so for me, this thing is perfect. But here's the other half of that. Ooh, that tip is deadly. Do as I say, not as I do, which means don't flip uh, barefoot like me. Don't be an idiot like me. 
That could have been my foot. Um, and I'm going to keep flipping because I'm very smart. Uh, so here's the thing. This and this. These are my two impulse purchases at Blade Shows. Once in 2019 and once in 2023. And here's the thing. I have grown since 2019. And so not only did I impulse purchase this thing, but people kept coming up to me and being like, hey, I thought I heard you impulse purchased another thousand dollar knife. And it sure looks that way, huh? In fact, if you look at both of these balasongs, I would caution you to guess which one costs more. Because to most people, I think they would say this one probably costs more. But this was $1,100. This was $1,100. You know. And this was $550. Literally half. Literally half the amount of money. And it flips just as good, if not better, because it's on bushings and it was made to be on bushings instead of being made to be on bearings and then switched to bushings. This thing freaking slaps. That's the only way I can describe it like adequately for you guys. It is just such a unbelievably good flipper to me and my preferences. I really love it. There's still some of these available on Knife Center, but here's the other thing, right? Not only are there still some of these available on Knife Center right now, you can go to Heibel's website. I'll put a link in the description for that so you can like go check that out. But not only are they available on Knife Center, there are custom versions of the Invictus with custom hand ground blades. Because here's the thing, this Invictus blade is machine ground. It's been machined. It's, you know, it's good, but it's, it's, it's been machined. So like it's not custom, it's not handmade. He has handmade, hand-ground custom blades that are different than this, that also slightly change the flipping profile of each of the balasongs because they slightly change the weight of the blade. So you can get a custom balasong from his website right now. He's got actually like quite a few in stock that didn't get sold at Blade Show, and they're on sale. The custom balasongs from Hybel of the Invictus are on his website right now. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look this up real quick. I'm just gonna, let me, let me pull up my phone. So I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna dox myself with my phone, but here, look, Hybel Custom, Hybel Custom, Hybel Custom. So these are all on the Invictus handle platform. So the handles are like milled in the same dimensions as the Invictus. You can see from the side here, right? It's got the same jimping and everything like that. But the faces of the handles are slightly different, right? Look at that. And that's because the way that he does these is that each one is slightly different. So you've got different handle patterns on the same overall like concept. This is custom number 218, right? And it comes with a certificate of authenticity and a hand ground. I mean, look at that wacky kind of harpoon blade. That's so sick. It's got a bevel grind. It looks amazing. Um, they're 895 bucks right now. This is $1,100 and this is a milled blade. All right? This is $1,100. Right now on sale, this beautiful work of art is $895. That is insane. That is utterly insane. And I'm not going to pretend that it isn't. It's freaking awesome. I love what Adam Heibel has been doing. This was one of my favorites at the show, actually. Oh, I shouldn't impulse purchase this, but I really want to. Um, this was one of my favorites at the show. So this is uh, a custom with the hand ground blade, but you'll notice the faces. So the sides are still the same. It's still on the same platform as this balasong, but the faces are polished. So it's this beautiful satin polish with uh, the anodization fade on everywhere else. It's also been hand rounded on a belt. So there's actual rounding to those handles as compared to this one, which is like flat and uh, angular, which I like the flat and angular, but oh my God, I got to flip this one at Blade Show and it was so comfy and I really, really liked it. And also I just love that blade profile. Like it looks so slick, God damn. So anyways, I, I just think people sleep on Adam Heibel way too much. And if you are interested in getting a Invictus, they're still 550 bucks. There's still some available. It's not on his website. You have to go to Knife Center, but there are still some available on Knife Center. You've got 
a bunch of different options and I think there's actually multiples of like the standard ones with the uh, blackened handles or the standard ones like this. Um, like I don't know how many of these are in stock, but I think there are a few of these still in stock on the website. And I'm gonna be totally honest, my review of this thing is going to be very positive. I really, really like this thing. I have not stopped flipping it, and I have much more expensive ballast songs in my collection that I could be flipping, and I'm not because I don't like them as much as this thing. That's just the truth. I really, really like this thing. It's really genuinely good, and Adam Heibel's being slept on, and I don't like that. So I'm just saying, if you want one of these things, uh, I would probably say you should buy it now before my review comes out, because when my review comes out, I have a feeling they'll suddenly be a little bit hard to find, because I don't know if Adam's going to be making more Invictuses. I really hope he does, or at least I hope he does something with the platform, because as I said, it is currently my, fa it's my favorite knife. And that's really cool, because I haven't experienced this level of excitement about a Balasong since my Serif. And like, I still adore my Serif. My Serif is still one of the best flipping knives in my collection. I really, really, really like the Serif. But now, when people say, what's your favorite Balasong? Suddenly, I've got to think about it because the answer used to just be, oh yeah, the Machine-Wise Serif. And the answer still is, to some degree, the Machine-Wise Serif. But this is $550. So, you know, it's more affordable and it flips just as good. And here's the thing, it doesn't flip the same as the Serif. It flips differently. It is a different Balasong. It, 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 is, it, it is its own flipper and it flips very well. Oh, I just, there's a dirt dauber and I made him feel bad. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, hello. No, oh, don't land on me, please. I mean, they don't actually sting, but yeah, I don't know. I don't like wasp shaped things landing on me, but. Dirt daubers are cool. So by the way, if you see a fully black wasp, like they're fully black, their legs are black, their body is black, and they're kind of like shiny with a bluish shine to them, uh, those guys are called dirt daubers, or at least that's what we call them in Texas. And they uh, they build little uh, houses out of mud, and they'll build a little house out of mud on your porch. And they're not bad. They uh, they don't sting. Um, they're super chill. They're, they're, they're dope wasps. I like dirt daubers. They're uh, pollinators. They do good stuff for the environment. Anyways... Um, it, it can't be a Will Hirsch flips video without a bug fact, right? Like, it just can't. Just saying. Um, but yeah, now, if someone asks me, what is your favorite ballast song? Suddenly I have to pause and be like, I think it might be the Hybel Invictus. Like, I, I, I love my Serif, but this is cheaper, and it offers me a very, very, very compelling flipping experience that just works. Like it, it just simply works. It just does what you ask it to do. It feels incredible. And I mean, it sounds so good. <laughs> I love the sound of this thing. So anyways, that's pretty much it for my ramblings today. Uh, sorry, it's been a minute since I uploaded, but also uh, fuck you. I don't owe you anything. Um, this is such a fun knife. And now if you'll excuse me, it's like 90 degrees outside, which maybe is the other reason I haven't been making these videos. That would make some sense. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go inside now and cool off and enjoy my matcha colada. Mmm, yummy, matcha colada. Uh, this is a drink created by a local coffee company here called Valor. They're freaking awesome. We love Valor. Um, it's like a, a, a pina colada, but with matcha in it and also non-alcoholic. So it's just like a really, really tasty summertime drink. It's just good. It's just good, man. We're doing that again. It's just good, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Anywho, uh, I have been beating this ballast song. You, you just saw I dropped it tipped down. And it's, it's, I think it has been tipped in the sense that like the tiniest, like the tip is gone, but this thing has a terrifying looking tip and yet it's actually really strong because there's a fair bit of material carried up into that tip area. So yeah, anywho, I love this thing. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. Please go buy one if you haven't. It, the fact that Adam hasn't sold out of these is literally a travesty because that just means that more people are depriving themselves of this incredible Balasong uh, and that's just wrong. That's just simply wrong. 
Uh, so do yourself a favor. He's having a sale on the website right now. Go participate in that and uh, go get yourself something incredible that you will enjoy and uh, won't, you know, fail on you when you uh, don't want it to, you know? So yeah, anyways, uh, go get yourself an Invictus. It's very good and uh, won't, you know, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you have a good, good, good peace.